Hello, welcome to Rigenix. This is a continuation to my last video on Builder Pattern where I have explained how we can implement Builder Pattern using self-referencing method. Let's quickly see what we had done. So here we have a class Loan Account Builder. All the required fields were set via dedicated self-referencing methods like with account number, with credential, etc. We have created a common private method can build and then finally we have a build method which returns the constructed object. Back in the client code, we create the instance by chaining the self-referencing method. As mentioned in my last video, in this video I will quickly explain and implement the way it has been explained in Gang of 4 UML. This is a continuation to my last video. It will be difficult for you to make complete sense out of this video if you have not watched the first episode of Build the Pattern. So I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video before watching this, where I have in detail explained what is Build the Pattern, how is it different from other creational design pattern and when exactly we should use this pattern. Assuming that you have already watched that video, let's jump straight to Build the Pattern UML diagram and discuss each component of it. So, build a pattern consists of four components, product, concrete builder, builder, and director. Let's elaborate each component a little. What is product? Product is the final object that we are interested in building. In our previous example, it was loan account builder where it was responsible for building the object as well as the same object was the product requested by our client. Now what is concrete builder here? These are the classes that contains the functionality to create a particular complex product. Concrete builder is the same as our builder class here. It defines the different parts of the object. You can see here with account number, with credential are the parts of our concrete builder. Next component is builder. What is builder? Now as we know, design patterns always tries to solve the problem in an abstract manner. Gang of 4 defines an abstract class or an interface first with the different parts signature and then implements it in the concrete builder. So the builder is our interface containing all parts of the product object. We have not abstracted builder in our previous example. We will be doing this here today. Let's come to director. Director is a separate class that defines the order in which to construct the object using parts provided by builder. Now having a director class in our program is not strictly necessary. We can always call the building steps in a specific order directly from the client code. That is what we have done in our previous example, right? we have built the steps in our client itself. However, the director class might be a good place to put various construction paths together so that you can reuse them across your application. In addition, the director class completely hides the details of product construction from the client code. We will see this in our example. Let's flip to Visual Studio and implement our builder pattern as per the classic UML diagram. We will modify the same project that we have created in our last video. Let's comment our existing code. Let's create a folder with a name product. Just to simulate the same naming convention as per our UML diagram, I will follow the same names. That's product, builder, concrete builder and director. Though in real time, you will have to create appropriate names as per the business. Let's create our required properties. Account number. To make things faster, let's copy it and rename this. So, this is a simple product. As of now, it just contains six properties. Let's create a folder called Builder, which as mentioned earlier, will be an abstraction of our concrete builder. Hence, 
this will be an interface containing all the different parts of our object. Let's quickly create the different parts of the object. Let's copy this and rename appropriately. Now let's create our concrete builders. Let's create a folder called concrete builder first. Let's create our first concrete builder class, loan account builder. Implement our abstract builder interface, I account builder. Let me put this get account method at the end. Now what was our product? Account, right? Which means this concrete builder has to build the parts of our product account and ultimately return it to the client. So let's create an instance of our account class. Now just add all the parts to this instance. Please note that in our case we have taken a simple product class account where we just simply add the property values. But in real time, it is highly possible that we have to do a complex computation before assigning the values. In fact, that is one of the reason to use builder pattern, right? Having said that, let's go ahead and assign all the properties. Balance, let's say it has 4 lakhs rupees. So we are done with building product, let's return. Let's create one more concrete builder class, savings account builder. Again let's implement our builder interface. To make things faster, let's copy the code from our loan account builder. Savings account has nothing to do with loan interest rate and loan amount, so just return from these methods. Similarly, we should make some changes to our loan account builder as well, because it has nothing to do with balance. So what we have done till now, we have created our product, concrete builder and builder. Now we are left with our final component the director. Let's create a folder called director first. Let's create a class called account configuration builder. This configuration builder will configure different product configuration as per client's requirement. Let's create a method called build loan account. This method will build and return the instance of our account class as per client's request. This method will receive our abstract iAccountBuilder interface. Let's add all the required parts and create an appropriate loan account instance. Now you can see our product is account which has lot of other attributes as well. But this particular config builder has created a different representation of the account class with only three attributes, account number, loan amount, and interest rate. Let's quickly create one more config builder class for savings account. So now this is a different representation of our account class with two attributes, account number and balance. Let's call this from our client. Let's build loan account first and see. Let's print some info. So, loan account info is displayed properly. Let's build account object for our savings account as well. Let's rename couple of variable names. So, 
So since we have properly executed our savings builder configuration as well. That's all I have for builder pattern. I hope you understood both the variant of builder pattern. Would appreciate if you can comment and let me know. Hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with others to see more such contents. Thanks.